So while yesterday's vlog is exporting, I thought I would bring you guys along and show you how I get ready for the day, do kind of a basic everyday get ready with me. So first I'm going to start with the Clinique City Block Sheer Oil-Free Daily Face Protector and I use this as a primer. And the only thing I don't like about this is that you have to kind of like shake it up otherwise this like liquid comes out before the actual primer and so it's just kind of a weird consistency. But yeah, I'm basically just using this today because I it's getting old and so I'm trying to use it up. But I do really like that it has SPF 25 so then I don't have to worry about putting on any sort of sunscreen other than my primer, so I like that. So after I put that all over my face, I go in with my foundation, and recently I've been using the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Liquid Foundation, looks like that. And I actually received this in a box box recently, but I have been loving it. It's so nice. I had been using the same Clinique foundation for quite a while. It was actually close to running out, so it came at the perfect time. I really love this foundation. It matches my skin perfectly, and it just gives such a nice, smooth, natural finish. And I've been using a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation most days. Um, it's just really, honestly, just really easy to apply, and that's why I do it. And it also just gives kind of a pretty natural look for an everyday look. Since the beauty blender is damp, it kind of like soaks up any excess foundation, so it doesn't get like piled on, because I don't want like a super heavy look for day to day. But yeah, I just basically do a couple of pumps of this all around my face and do a, you know, light layer. I use this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector and I just do a couple clicks of this and put it on under in my under eye area to kind of brighten up under there. I also sometimes do it down the center of my face if I'm feeling particularly motivated to do some makeup. And then I just use the other end of my beauty blender to kind of just pat that in. Next up, I just put a tiny bit of powder all around my face to kind of set it and I focus on my under eye to make sure that doesn't crease throughout the day. I do have oily skin so I find that, you know, putting some powder on helps to control that a little bit. But honestly, if I'm just going to be at home most of the day, I don't worry too much about it because I don't really care that much, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I do. Next I start on my eyes, and sometimes I just kind of leave the lids bare, but I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow on today. I've recently been getting back into this little Revlon quad eyeshadow palette thing. It's pretty old, but I, kinda, I recently rediscovered it when I was looking for some more matte eyeshadows, because I realized like most of my eyeshadows are like glittery, and so I was looking to see if I had any matte shadows, and I stumbled upon this, and so I've been using this little quad palette thing fairly frequently. I'm going to take the peachy color and just kind of put that all over my lid just to give it a nice little base of color. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush. This is the Morphe M433 brush if you're curious and I'm going to take that nice whoops, little golden brown color and put that on focused on the outside of the eyelids. And you can probably tell I am not an excellent makeup applicator by any means, but I kind of just, you know, put it on there. And like I said, most days I just stay home all day, so it doesn't really matter what I end up looking like. <laughs> and I also swipe it a little bit on the lower lash line, just for a little bit of extra emphasis down there. And once that's done, I get started on mascara. And I've recently really been loving the Benefit Roller Lash. I just think it gives a really pretty effect. It's not too bold, so it's good for an everyday look, but it does give a nice kind of curled and flared look to the lashes. And mascara is my favorite beauty product. It always has been. And so I definitely enjoy a good mascara. I have really tiny baby lashes that have like zero curl to them. So I'm all about any mascara that can make them look 
Like they naturally have some length and curl to them and I find that this mascara definitely does that without being too clumpy. I'm not against clumpy mascara for like nighttime looks, but I don't really want that for like a, you know, simple daytime look. So yeah, I've really been liking this mascara. And I basically just do a couple coats on either top lashes. I don't really do mascara on my bottom lashes for every day just because I don't feel the need and I think it kind of adds a little more drama to it, which I don't really need for a daytime look. And that's pretty much all I do for my daily makeup. Um, as far as lips go, I'll usually just kind of put on some like lip balm throughout the day periodically. So I don't really put any color on there. I don't know, that's just a personal preference. But yeah, I hope you liked this quick little get ready with me. <laughs> so I realized that I never officially said good morning to you guys and started the vlog, so good morning. <laughs> I just filmed a quick get ready with me, so you might have already seen that or I might decide I wanna insert that right here. I haven't really decided yet, but now I'm going to get dressed for the day. So this is what I'm wearing today. Sorry about the funny angle. I'm trying to get good lighting because the window is behind me and so it's like messing with the camera. But anyways, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this um, pink and white striped shirt from Aerie and then black shorts that are also from American Eagle. Um, I have this little gold anchor necklace that Melissa recently got me and I'm also wearing, let me turn this around for you guys. I'm wearing these little um, pave gold rhinestone stud things that came in one of my rocks box while I was working with them and I liked them so much that I bought them. And then the last thing I'm wearing is this bracelet that I got from my parents, I think for Christmas or my birthday or something. And then this little simple, it's supposed to be a midi ring, but I don't, those make me nervous because they never like are on and I'm always so worried they're going to fall off. So I just wear it as a regular ring. It came in a set of three with like a silver one, a rose gold one, and then this gold one. And so yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. And I brushed my hair, but I, I usually don't blow dry it because honestly, it's just too much of a pain in the butt. It just takes forever. And so I like to normally just let it dry naturally. And I just find that's a lot easier. And yeah. So I hope you found getting ready with me kind of interesting, at least. Um, I'm going to head downstairs and see if my vlog is finished exporting so I can get it uploaded to YouTube for yesterday. And then I can start my day. Hi, cutie. What are you going to do today? Huh? You got big plans? Big plans to do? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that sounds so interesting. <laughs> she is being so clingy right now. Normally, she's a pretty attached dog and kind of goes with me wherever I go, but she will not leave me alone right now. Like, I was sitting down trying to do some work and she kept just whining at me and jumping, trying to jump into my lap and just wanting so much attention. And I don't know why you're being so clingy right now. And of course, I pull out the camera and you're going to stop. So you make me look like a liar. Say, no, I wasn't doing that. Do you just want all the loves? Do you want all the loves and attentions? So I'm finally finishing up editing yesterday's vlog. I'm in Melissa's office because for some reason... My iMovie won't let me insert the ending clip for my vlog, so I have to use her computer to do it. I don't know, it's really weird, but anyways. So I can finally start working on my day in the life video, which was supposed to go up today. That was the plan. But since things got so screwy with starting vlogging, I never got a chance. To, I was supposed to have finished editing it by now, so it would be ready to just like even already be uploaded by today so I could just make it go public. But yeah, it's not finished being edited. It's certainly not uploaded. So I don't know. I'm going to start working on it now and see kind of how long it takes to get finished. And depending on when I'm able to finish it, it might go up today. It might, I might just push it back to Monday. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So we will have to see. Hopefully I can just whiz through the final edits. It's pretty close to being done, but there's just a couple more things I have to do before it's, you know, actually finished. 
But yeah, that's where my day is at. It's about 2.30, so Melissa will be leaving work in an hour. She's really lucky. She has like flex time at work, so she can leave at 3.30. So she's normally home by four, which has been awesome. She's only been at this job for like two months. And before she was at a job that had like a 45 plus minute commute every day. And so she would get home at the earliest, like five, 5.30. She'd sometimes even get home at like six or seven sometimes. So yeah, I've been loving having her getting home so early. It's really nice. Cause then it feels like we actually have a full day to like hang out and like be with each other for, you know, a decent amount of the day rather than like she gets home, we eat dinner and then we go to bed. So yeah, I don't even know why I started going on that tangent, but <laughs> yeah, it's Friday, so we should have a pretty fun night. I think we're planning on just having a nice relaxing evening since this week was so crazy with like getting my vlog channel up and running. She's been helping me, you know, like a lot with that too. And so we are both just kind of exhausted and I think we're just gonna take it easy and have a nice chill night. So it's not looking like I'm gonna get the day in the life video up today. It's already four o'clock and I mean, unless I want it to go up like super late, which I don't really, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it up today, I'm assuming. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Um, I really didn't wanna wait all the way until Monday because I was so super excited to like get it out and get everything like announced and launched. But at the same time, I don't wanna rush it. I wanna, you know, be able to edit it the way that it needs to be nicely edited. I don't know. Another day spent on the couch, <laughs> as you can see. I normally, I really don't ever hang out down here all day. I'm always up in my office. I don't know, I guess just with this starting vlogging, it's just, I, I don't know what this is, but. <laughs> yeah, so Melissa should be home soon and then we can start our weekend. I'm really excited for this weekend. It's definitely a needed weekend. I don't think we have pretty much anything planned yet. I'm gonna see if we can try and get her to hang up that big mirror in the entryway this weekend though so we can like get it out of our little like dining room area if you can call it that <laughs> but yeah I definitely want to try and get that hung up other than that I really don't think we have much going on this weekend it'll be pretty pretty relaxing but obviously now that I'm vlogging you guys will be able to see exactly what we end up doing <laughs> which will be really fun is mom home were you waiting all day for this what's down there I don't know, but she's ruined it, Mom. Did I interrupt? <laughs> Have you been waiting all day for this? Oh, you grump. <laughs> Stop it. Look at the little belly. Don't show my belly to the camera. <laughs> Do you sit like a person? Whoa! Goodness! Where are we going? Where is she? You have froggy guts everywhere. <laughs> Do you have frog guts all over the place? This, this is so not real frog guts. <laughs> frog has a hole in him. Every once in a while, I'll walk into a room and there's frog guts all over the place. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I just finished editing my day in the life video and I feel so good about it. I'm so excited it turned out exactly how I was imagining it and I am so happy to finally be done with that video. Like I was saying in another vlog, it has taken me about a month to make this video from start to finish, from like filming to editing. It has just taken so long. It has been a labor of love and I'm so excited with how it turned out. I think it was the perfect way to kind of announce my new vlogging channel and yeah, I'm super excited and I hope you really enjoy the video. I think I decided I'm gonna put the video up on Monday. I normally don't post anything on my main channel or my blog over the weekends and so I kinda wanna keep it that way so I think I'm gonna wait until Monday to put that video up to kind of announce this channel and by then I'll have a full week's worth of vlogs up and you know, ready for whenever people start to head over hopefully from Label Me Merit. And so yeah, I think that's the plan. And then I'll have time to kind of get the blog post all prepared and everything too. And yeah, if you're not already subscribed to Label Me Mary, definitely head on over and subscribe so that you get notified when that video goes up. And now that I've spent yet another day doing some nonstop editing, it is almost time for dinner. Melissa's making it right now. And yeah, I think we're gonna take it easy tonight and just hang out like I said earlier.
we saw earlier today that HBO, like, released the second episode of Westworld two days earlier than it was planned, which is kind of, I've never heard of a show doing that before, but I'm really excited, and it just so happened to be perfect. I mean, we watched episode one last night, and so now we get to watch episode two tonight, so I'm super excited about that. It seems like such a cool concept for a show, and I'm really excited to, like, get into it and see really, like, what direction they take it. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight, and I'm gonna go see how dinner's coming along. <laughs> Melissa made ribs for dinner and they look so good. And burning potatoes. And burning potatoes, but that's okay. <laughs> what did you put on the ribs? Barbecue sauce. But like homemade barbecue sauce. Homemade barbecue sauce. Yum. Did we feed the dog? No. <laughs> She's like, don't mind me, I'll just starve over night. here. <laughs> I'll get it. But this is the finished dinner and it looks so tasty, I can't wait to eat it. Thank you. You're welcome. Dakota, do you want to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, yeah. Bless you. Let's go. So we made it through this week. <laughs> we both are exhausted after getting through this week with all the stuff with iMovie and my computer and we are happy as the weekend. What about you? I just wanna sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna watch one more episode of something and then probably head to bed and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.